We got the big one. Are you guys ready? Are you guys, are you guys ready for this? I'm not ready for it. This next one's um, a spicy. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spicy one. A very spicy. Little touchy tub subject because, uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of in the middle of this one. So now it's time for true juicy drama. All right. So um, just to uh, Akronair even just jumped the jump the gun. Lava jumped the gun. All he said was like some juicy ra like ra like juicy. Oh my god, juicy drama. Random rant coming. Right. That's all he said. The tweet went out this morning or yesterday. Excuse me. By our one and only hunted. Um, he is uh, an American caster. Um, he's casted. For more than just Trackmania. He's casted for Rocket League. He's casted for other stuff, right? Can you hold this juice for like three more minutes? Man, it's going on YouTube, my guy. Um, but I saw Imports tweet. Yeah. No, the last chance qualifier one, that's mine. That is me. I didn't tweet it out. Because, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm not about this. I don't do this this shit on Twitter. I, I'm, I'm here in person, man. You want to talk shit? Talk to me here in my chat. I won't ban you for it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't do this Twitter back and forth bickery bullshit. No offense to anyone in this. I just. Uh, I don't. Let's go. He doesn't ban. I will ban you for other reasons. But if you come in here to talk shit with me, I just talk shit back. And if it gets a little bit more than it should, if it gets out of you know, gets a little insane, then yeah, no, then that's when I cut it. Let's. Let's let's talk about this. I'm sorry. I can't delay any more longer. Hunted yesterday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Post this. This has to be on my mind for a while. I love Trackmania and TME Sports. I love playing, watching, casting. I love it all. However, as an American, I don't feel much love in return. Every event is almost exclusively geared towards Europe. Only EU is considered in times, venues, and staff. Okay. Um, so that is, that is the first tweet, right? And I can understand this. I, I, I can understand it, right? He's basically saying that there's all these cool, really, like really cool events going on. And yet we never get any consideration for it, right? We never really get any love for everything that's going on, right? You know, like one of the biggest lands that happened this year, uh, Ascension happened in France. But the other biggest land that happened, XP Evo, happened in Germany. Um, there's just not really any big events that were happening here in America. And I can understand that America is still small uh, when it comes to the competitive player base. I can understand that. Um, but before I continue reading the rest of this, right? There are small regions in a lot of esports, yet they still have the lands in different areas because one, it promotes the game better in that area, and two, it gives uh, more fresh air for players and people to go and travel because there's more than just going to the event. My thing is, is that a lot of these lands happen all over the place, right? There's a lot of lands that happen in Europe. There's a lot of lands that happen in America. In America, there were lands that happened in Mexico. There were lands that happened in uh, um, Rio. You know, there were lands all over the place for all different esports, and, and you know, it, it wasn't always the main player base for them, right? It wasn't always like like Rio. It does not have a big player base um, for CSGO, for like Rocket League compared to EU, but it still happens out there. But my point is, is that there are lands all over the place. They don't always have to be in the same area. Now I understand as the TOs, uh, it's easier for the TOs to run competitions in their area. But at the same time, it's just, it's, it's hard to grow the esport in everywhere like when 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 there's photos of people saying that you know what what people say about us uh, as na and how we don't care and we don't try and yada 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 but like we're again not really given much it's it's very hard to to 
to push, you know, really getting something out there. Like, like unfortunately, there was a picture that was uh, being spread a long time ago, and I'm not going to put it on stream, uh, but there was a picture that was a long time ago about someone that said, at this point, there's no point hosting NCSA. Players do not care. People throw intentionally. Top teams quit. Um, someone replied with maps suck, shrug. Maps do not suck, just players do not care from what I have seen. Also, commitment is not there, but I have I can very well understand that maps are not that accessible to play. Um, and my thing is, it's not that it's accessible to play. It's just it's not enjoyable to play. All right, like the, the some of these players um, can one hundred percent can play these maps. It's just the the team wt maps were pretty rough like they're just rough on on you as a player and your physical and mental health to stay up on it i mean me personally like i have bad hands right i have used my hands all my life i've competed in gaming since i was like 13 i'm a piano player i play the organ every sunday my hands hurt like i've learned how bad my hands are and then when I play tech maps, for some reason I grip my control a little bit more, and then I'm in I'm in pain. I couldn't train twisted more than I wanted to. Like I couldn't train the game physically. I was in pain. So like you got to think about it. And like I'm currently playing in the 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 WTT. What is that? The World Tech Tour, World Tour Tech, whatever it is, right? I'm playing in WTT and I can last in those maps so much more than I can in Twisted because it's just not as demanding as Twisted was, right? Um, but my point is, is like the maps were kind of a rough one, but I don't want to get too much into that. Now I want to focus on what we're talking about here is the NACS scene struggling right now, right? Um, so again, Hunted posts his tweet out. I'm not looking, I'm not asking to be put on a pedestal, rather, I implore orgs, organizers, decision makers, and the community at large to at least consider the growth the game could see if you can convert even a tiny fraction of daily NA players into esports fans. And then that's another thing. There have been multiple reports saying that North America, especially like I think it's just America in general, has the biggest player base country right now. We are the biggest player base. America dominates the, the, the track mania scene casually now because of all the console players. So let's grab onto those console players. Like in my last rant, how, how Nadeo missed their shot and missed a lot of money. How about taking a second chance and doubling down on the eSport? Because it's just, it's just a thing here in America. We just love competition, man. We love just getting loud and rowdy and and screaming and getting excited about video games and 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 sports in general you know like there's just so much that is being missed and i and it, a lot of people are just downgrading na right they're just downgrading us saying that we're like you know we're just not as good so it just no reason to okay EU has been dominating Rocket League a lot more than and than NA, right? EU's been killing it. South America is starting to kill it. They're really starting to push into Rocket League. Yet, and I don't want to hear it that be, because Psyonix is an American company, because Psyonix literally switches back and forth and back and forth, and they've even gone out of NA and EU and started hosting lands in other countries and other continents. So, like, so what? there will be people that will show up they will get big and i'm gonna prove it because i got a big announcement coming up soon and if some of you already know about it but i got a big fucking announcement coming out soon just some papers need to be signed and then you're gonna see a big fucking announcement is coming out and uh this whole tweet and the tweet i'm gonna show after is gonna go out the window you watch but yeah anyway um it's anecdotal but i've spoken to a number of different na players who are active in the game but are completely unaware that uh there's even an esports side to trackmania many said they would play but with such a tiny number of events and practically zero official support they choose not to right again 
a lot of tournaments out there and no official support either from NA, uh, from Nadeo or some bigger thing. Now, and that's my other thing that kind of bugs me. You got games like Halo where people are saying, the game's dying, the game's dying, and yet they're still racking up more players. They're still, you know, they still have a stream on their main channel and three other ones for their LAN events. And they're still like quadrupling the numbers that even virtual can pull for uh, you know for tmgl and world tour and all that right like a dead game is killing it and guess what they have the orgs even hosting events that move that have points that go towards um the main event we have an na org that's doing absolutely nothing for us g1 literally came in signed a team that's not even north american they signed a french team and they've done fucking squat diddly shit for us so, who was really to blame, you know? And I'm not putting all the blame on G1, but it just kind of sucks. They just signed a team and that's it. They're not helping us out. And then you got a small org like Damascus Gaming, who's, you know, like looking to sponsor me in my events so that I can help the North American and NCSA in general. So I can post event, put events up. They're looking to help me out. They, look, they sponsored my last event, you know, and it's just, it's insanely like... It blows my mind that a small org can do that, but a big org can't. Um, it's not an easy thing to fix. I love that Trackmania is a global game with relatively seamless support for worldwide competition, but I think it may benefit everyone long-term to split the Americas into its own separate region. This is the one thing I do not agree on. Don't split us up. It's still too small of a player base. And that's something else I'm going to talk about as well. The only way you are going to turn your average American casual fan into a dedicated fan is to give them something to care about. American competition breeds American dedication. There's Akronator talking about some of the stuff as well. Yeah, and uh, that's another problem that we had when it came to PATC and people were like, the maps are too easy. How are we supposed to build up an esports scene if we can't even let the beginners come in? That was the reason why, in reality, that was the reason why CD even had two qualifier maps. Like, he had five maps for the first week, five maps for the second week, but three of them carried from the first to the second week, and he swapped two of them out. There were two really hard ones in the second week, and the first two, the two that were swapped down in week one were generally pretty easy maps. And it was to allow those beginner guys to get in and have a chance, like me, to make it to week two, which I did. And I worked really hard. And I struggled through it. I even fucking cried one day because I was so upset that I put so much work into it to just lose. And then I got another guy on the other side going, the maps are too easy. And I'm slamming it to every wall. This is why NCSA is struggling. It's not also just not enough tournaments. No one's going to host tournaments if the players are going to bitch and complain about us all the fucking time. We're trying our best. We're trying to host tournaments. We're trying to put tournaments out there. People have even told me, just host a tournament. We don't even need a prize pool. Cool, I'll host a tournament. But then all of a sudden I see, maps are not good. That's our biggest problem. Shut the fuck up about the maps. Just play the tournament. I, I oh, There was one player. I don't even want to, I don't want to get into it. Yeah, I mean, technically he's not even an NCSA player. He just lives here. But he started complaining about the maps directly in the game. I almost... I almost turned to CD and said, like, can we get him out of here? Because it's just so upsetting. I get it. The maps aren't that great. You don't like the maps? Okay, but guess what? If you don't like the maps, then you go make a map. Oh, you can't? You don't know how to map? Then shut up. Okay? Just shut up and play the fucking maps. I'm sorry that we don't have a budget to go hire Waypoint. Or what the fuck are they called? Waypoint, yeah. I'm sorry. We don't have a budget to hire Waypoint to make these advanced maps so you can drive on them. Go play in another tournament. Come here. Dominate the scene. If they're so easy, dominate the scene. Win. And it's funny because the people who said the maps are too easy didn't win. They still lost. I guess the people who kept their mouths shut and just put their nose to the fucking grindstone and won. That's the real problem about NCSA. It's, it's, it's not... Oh, there's not enough tournaments. No one wants to host tournaments because we're constantly being told we're shit. I know what good maps are as a player, but yes, and that was the thing that you just missed. The problem about what knowing is a good map is, again, it requires those mappers to put the maps in. Not all mappers will map for smaller events like PATC, unfortunately. 
and we don't have a budget to go higher waypoint to make good maps. So again, NCSA does not have enough events. That's what we're talking about is NCSA. Also, why is this ad still sitting on my screen? NCSA just doesn't have enough events. So guess what? Play the event, suck it up. If the maps are too easy, then win the tournament. If you can't win the tournament, then there's another problem. And that's not my problem as a TO. That's not CD's problem as a TO. It's not any of our problems. We're trying to create events that allow the beginner and intermediate players to get in to have a chance to play against you good players while also trying to provide some good maps for you guys. So it's a hard fucking balance when NA is completely topsy-turvy in, 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 you know, the balance of, of skill. It, it's very hard to be able to do a lot of that stuff. Um, because I didn't like the maps, but at the same time, I also had burnout because of how many issues the World Tour circuit had at the time. So that's understandable, yeah. But again, like, that's the other problem is that <coughs> we're talking about trying to grow the, like, the player base. We're talking about how, like, again, people, and this is one thing that drives me insane about NCSA. And I've, I've said this in the past um, on a rant that didn't go on YouTube, but like I've said, track mania players are spoiled as much as i love everyone track mania players are spoiled if they don't get what they want they're going to complain they're going to bitch and a lot of them don't even show or play and that's a big problem because if you want us to host more tournaments we need you to show up we need you to show up we need to show sponsors look how many people have competed in our tournament look how many people watched our tournament Look at the click rate through of what my tournament did, what my YouTube channel did. I can't do that if no one shows up, especially good people. And that's the other thing I don't think people understand, especially because we are a small, little, tiny, like a little game. There is a lot of weight on names. I'm going to use Neil, for example. Neil's a very good player. He's a very well-known NA player. If people know Neil is competing, they're going to tune in to watch. So if Neil complains that a map is too easy and doesn't compete in my tournament, and I got Timbuktu and Johnny Two Shoes competing in my tournament, no one's going to watch me. So then again, an entire tournament just goes to waste because I can't raise money to get mappers to come in and map stuff for me to make a better tournament. So now I'm, I'm stuck at square one again. So that's part of the reason why I got into mapping, because I was trying to push. I would only watch your event if Neil plays. I mean... You get my point. Spent one thousand plus dollars of my own the last two years, right? And that's my point. A lot of us are spending our own money to try to host these events for you guys, but then in return, uh, I'm sorry, Neil. I will stop using you the example. <laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. I will stop using the example. Zettens is another player. I'm gonna just ram out. I'm gonna call him out. Um, Zettens was the one who was complaining constantly the entire time in the in-game chat about how these maps suck, they suck, they suck, they suck, they suck. And I was tired of hearing it, especially as I was one of the mappers and it, it's, it's insulting. I, I, I worked hard on that to just be told my map sucks because it was too easy. It's hard, it hurts, okay? It hurts on the mapper side too. You gotta remember, we're people too. We're working hard on those maps, right? We're trying to make good competitive maps. We're trying to find that balance of that intermediate level where it's a little bit hard, but not too hard. It's very hard to make a good fucking map when you have all these boundaries on you, right? So, like, it that's the problem. So, going back to this whole thing about Hunted, saying that we don't really get much support. Um, and then Hunted said, all I want is a track mania land in a place fee uh, feasible for NA travel, which would be great. Uh, I liked your PATC map. Thank you, Aquinator. I appreciate it. But this is where the juicy part comes in. <laughs> No, you didn't, Neil. You don't have to say it. Import, who's an American who lives in Europe now, goes, I feel like to respond to Hunted and... Uh, again, he made his own tweet. He made his own tweet. He didn't even just respond. He had to go out of his way to make his own tweet. I don't even know what this person... What it? Oh, the video editor. Um... I need to make my own thread on this. I think I have a lot, uh, at least a bit of stake in this conversation as an American living in Europe and am able to see both sides. Also, the main organizer for XP Evo. Now, he is a solid player. 
<clears throat> I think that overall NA is a very skewed market due to its hyper casual presence and makes it very difficult for any esports to thrive, let alone NA lacks a person willing to do the work to make something happen. Before you whine about finances, we got um, Experian for zero dollars. I don't. Can someone enlighten me on what this one is? I don't even know what this one is. And this is a good for you moment. Because your next events, you know. Oh, is the venue. Okay. Good for you. You were able to talk. Um, you were able to talk them into to doing that. Not easy in America. It's a little bit easier in Europe. Especially because even the. Who was it? The French president or ambassador even recognized Trackmania um, as like a, like a big game. So yeah, in Europe, I feel like it's a little bit easier. How did we do that? We leveraged the TM community's might with Evo's experience as an event organizer. NA doesn't have Evo, and they don't have someone like me or Atomic Liquid to do the dirty work for them. And, and if we talk NCSA, Nats... I'm sorry, is your name too big, Import, that you don't, you can't even, like, look over back at where you came from just to even recognize some people that have been working? You want a solution? Do the work. Make the connections. Use the knowledge and leverage you have. What the fuck do you think we're all doing? Tommy is the least controversial guy. Why did he get dragged into this? I know, poor guy. If you want change, you have to make it yourself. Nadeo isn't going to do it for you. We're not asking for Nadeo to do it for us. We're just asking for Nadeo, for Nadeo to recognize us. It feels like we're not even recognized. We're not heard. When was the last time you saw an NA event like PATC, like SAC, like those events be broadcasted in the Trackmania game? But all these other stuff always, always, always just being promoted. You know, like... like I love Vixa. I'm just going to use him as an example. Vixa's campaign was promoted. It wasn't even a full-fledged tournament. You know? Um, very thankful to Nadeo for sponsoring a very small part of our event and being so supportive. But they know and we know that XP Evo was going to be a full-on success when the community is behind it. Okay, the in-game promo might be on me. Whatever. I want to see NA grow too. Maybe we can work together to provide something in the future. But the only thing NA can blame is its lack of self-sufficiency and work ethic. I'm done ranting now. See you all at XP Evo 2024. And it's just, it's kind of annoying when there are people who are trying that unfortunately don't have the connections that import has. Like the thing is, if you want change, you have to make it yourself, right? That's come, that's fine. Do the work, make the connections, use the knowledge. The problem is there's a shit ton of connections over on the EU side. There's not much over here because he said it himself. There's not much for us over here. We are our own connections. Everyone that's pretty much in this stream right now talking in the chat is all part of the connections, you know? <clears throat> Why do I? Yeah, I know. Right, Enlightenment? Um feels like a survivor bias yeah look bro all i want is some comps to be at 11 a.m or 12 p.m they are like eastern 8 a.m yeah i know i get that if you ever want to organize a land on, on my house you guys could come oh boy um but yeah like and that's the other thing you know like cd and i are definitely working on that and 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 alex i should give it to him too and he worked hard on tmaa um and then hunter comes in you know i respect you and what you have been able to accomplish. Maybe I'm misinterpreting this post, but can't help but feel attacked here. The hundreds of hours, the numbers of volunteers or are terribly paying gigs and time spent organizing I've done has to count for something. Hunted just wants to feel recognized and thanked. And this guy straight out goes like, you came in here for the money? It's like, no. <laughs> As more offensive to the community itself than anything else. TM casters who have been in the scene far longer than you have been doing this for years and the rates you've gone are more than what some have gotten over several years. I don't know who is telling you my TM rates, but I guarantee it's an over-exaggerated at best. Besides, I'm not going to apologize for working my ass off to get to the level I'm at and expecting to be compensated accordingly. 
I took these pay cuts for the love of the game. And he's right. He's right. I am not going to go into Hunted's details. I'm not going to go into his stuff, right? But Hunted has casted for more than Trackmania. Hunted has casted for like Rocket League and has casted for some big team names. And he gets paid for it. And then he takes his time out and casts for free for Trackmania. Hunted even had to like, I think it was, I think it was when it was America versus Canada. There was an event going on. It was all for fun. Hunted went there for free and casted that. And then unfortunately had to leave to go cast an actual track, uh, Rocket League tournament, right? For RLCS. For RLCS. The Pro League. I don't blame Hunted for feeling that he should be compensated for the work he puts into it. And this is something, I, I don't want to get too into detail, but this is something that all the casters have said. And we're all in a private Discord with um, some of the people from Nadeo, uh, more on the esports side. And, one, and, they, and they asked us for feedback. And one of our biggest feedback was more compensation for the work we put in. Um, we're paid very little. We're, we were paid very little. When I found out how much I made for casting an entire show by myself, for running our production, going above and beyond, trying to get you guys two cameras up, trying to get you cool camera angles and all that. I got paid. I got, I got, I got paid squad diddly. I get more sitting in an organ playing nine songs for 40 minutes than I did all of that. Um, you know, like and again, and 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 it's exactly right here. This is the line. I took these pay cuts for the love of the game. Now all I'm asking for is a little bit of love on the other way back. <laughs>